This week on the podcast, we have Carmen Colmer. She's the current head of performance at Perth. Um, and she will be discussing, um, Perth Glory, sorry, she'll be dis discussing uh, training load and how recovery, best recovery methods should um, be informed from the training load of the athletes. So make sure to tune into that one if you're into your sports science, but also your high performance uh, manager um, position. Carmen's got a wealth of experience all around the world uh, in those um, roles. So make sure to tune in on Tuesday at one o'clock. We also have Luke Rooney. That will be our Wednesday podcast. I released that a little bit earlier. Um, we had that podcast a couple of weeks ago. So that will be published on Wednesday. He has the Rugby Academy program and he's one of our Prepare, Prepare Like a Pro Coaches Academy members. So it was great to have our first member on the podcast. Uh, so make sure to tune in on Wednesday for that episode. Nick Murray, who's the head of sports science at Melbourne Football Club. So great to have another colleague on the show. He'll be talking about everything you need to know from a sports science point of view. So as I mentioned with Carmen, if you're, it's a big sports science week on the podcast this week on the Prepare Like a Pro Live chat show. So make sure if you're interested to tune in and listen to Nick's not only career journey, but also that key topic that will be on Thursday at 2 p.m. And then we've, as I announced last week, Caleb Morgan has joined our Prepare Like a Pro coaching team. He's got a wealth of experience at the Western Bulldogs who will be looking after our athletes who live in the Western suburbs of Melbourne. He recently joined our team. He's looking after athletes uh, currently. He'll be on the podcast uh, just to basically share his coaching journey. And that will be at 4 p.m. on Thursday as well. So three live chat show. And then Friday, we've a quick update as well. We've moved our Sunday bite-sized episodes where I just basically release either a, a 10 minute podcast from the collab events that I do from time to time on a key topic or from an old episode that I did over a year ago to bring it back to life and give you a 10 minute snippet of those episodes. Cause we had some great guests back then and, and there, and because we're pumping out so many uh, episodes in the podcast, they can tend to get missed. So I just want to bring them back to your attention. So if you enjoy that 10 minute, episode this week it's with Lachlan Wilmot on Friday instead of Sunday now so we have episodes released on Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, from on our podcast if you love it make sure to um, listen into the whole episode as I mentioned we did it over a year ago the power tip for this week is start to maximize this is just a productivity tip start to maximize your time in transport if you're driving or if you're catching public transport with these three areas either educate yourself podcast is a great uh, opportunity to do that obviously it's audio so you don't need to be watching it you can have your eyes on the road uh, if it's not educating yourself it's connecting with family friends and colleagues so phone calls are a great time to do in the car um, and then for another productivity tip it might just be simply reflecting on either how that training session went for the athletes or for the coaches how the day went from the programming and uh, and how you delivered that program so reflecting on your work i find that's something i've, I've done um, quite regularly over the last year it's been really intentional with the time in the car working at melbourne we drive a fair bit going out to casey fields so um uh, you know there's at least an, an hour and a half there that i could use effectively um <clears throat> and at times of course you're going to be cooked and you're just going to listen to the music and switch off um, but majority of the time, I'd say 80% of the time, I try and use that time effectively. And it's um, definitely made life easier. So um, if you can utilize time in the car, um, it's, a, it's a big win for those that are time poor. So give it a go. If it's helpful, let me know what you get up to. What's your favorite out of those three? Is it connecting? Is it uh, educating? Or is it reflecting? And I'll see you guys on the next week.